Hi, we will be showing you what foods have trans fats and how to detect foods containing trans fat. For years, it has been a mystery as to which particular foods contain trans fat. In recent times thanks to diet detectives, this phantasm fat the very worst of its kind has been demystified. Trans fat has been associated to all forms of blood vessels, heart and in fact general body problems. But what foods have trans fat? This type of fat has been discovered in numerous foods. However only a few who are conversant with such cipher words as vegetable shortening or slightly hydrogenated oil would be able to detect its presence in food. Quite fortunately, after so much research conducted in the 90s, a certain group of diet detectives, known as dietitians, alerted everyone on the lethal effects of trans fat to overall health. Nonetheless, the process toward the total abolition of trans fats is rigorous. This is particularly so in some underdeveloped countries. It is shocking that the consumption of this dangerous fat is still on the increase. Trans fats, what is that? Trans fats refer to a kind of fat usually found in certain foods. These are also the unsaturated kind of fat. There exist about two major types of trans fat. 1. The artificial and 2. The natural trans fats. Let's us try to buttress this a little bit. Natural, organic, trans fat. These are bacteria formed trans fats found originally in the gastrointestinal part of cattle, goats and sheep. This form of trans fat comprises 3 to 7% of the sum fat in popular dairy products. These products are cheese and milk. Also, in lamb and beef, it comprises 3 to 10% while just around 0 to 2% in pork and chicken respectively. Artificial, synthetic, trans fat. These are primarily formed during a process known as hydrogenation. This process entails addition of hydrogen to plant, vegetable oil in order to formulate a certain semi-solid produce called partially or slightly hydrogenated oil. In other words, synthetic trans fats are produced as a result of chemical reaction. Sadly they are part of the production process of some food products. This is very toxic and dangerous to human health when consumed. Trans fat, where do they come from? Trans fats became known through experiments done by chemists in the late 1900. The experiments entailed partially saturating plant oils by adding atoms of hydrogen gas into them with the help of a catalyst nickel this curious experiment led to the discovery of this so-called trans fats trans fats gained popularity at that time because they do not easily turn sour plus they could endure continuous reheating without disintegrating this made them easy to convey through long distances why food manufacturers preferred trans fats Despite the unhealthy procedure of making trans fats, it was more used and preferred by individuals and manufacturers for so many reasons. One of these reasons was that the induction and production of these trans fats favored food manufacturers a great deal. This is true because the addition of these trans fats to some food products can assist to extend their shelf life. Hydrogenated fats help to improve some foods making them taste very delicious. It also aids fat to solidify even at room temperature. Furthermore these solidified fats were much less pricey than a variety of solidified animal fat. For these reasons food manufacturers were so attracted to synthetic trans fat. Before long, they became a bastion in margarine, donuts, and vegetable shortenings. Prior to the arrival of fractional hydrogenation, the only way humans consumed trans fat was by eating lamb, deer, cows and dairy products. Due to the bacteria inhabiting the stomach of ruminant animals, little quantity of trans fats are produced. What foods have trans fats in them? Although trans fats was very important to the food industries, they are quite detrimental to human beings. This is the reason they need to be taken out from your day-to-day -day dietary plans. Yes, we mean totally exclude them from your family menu. Below are some prominent foods that contain this harmful trans fats. 1. Vegetable shortening. Vegetable shortening is an inexpensive substitute for butter. It was created in the 90s from partly hydrogenated plant or vegetable oil. Shortening is a kind of fat which remains solid even when it is in room temperature. It was commonly used for baking and some cooking. It was most famous for bakers because of its increased fat content. This makes for a flakier and softer pastry as compared to other forms of shortening such as butter and lard. 
2. Microwavable Popcorn. We know how delicious and super healthy air popper corn is. Rich in fiber and low in calories and fats. However, some variations of popcorn like microwavable popcorn contain so much trans fats. The reason being that the oil remains solid till the bag of popcorn is microwaved. Thanks to recognized health implication of consuming trans fats, a whole lot of companies have made the switch to trans fats free oil during recent times. The culprits for these trans fats in microwavable popcorn are all the flavorings. For instance, caramel flavoring often contains as much as 1.5 grams of these trans fats. We advise that you prepare your very own popcorn at home on a stove top or the air popper. This is inexpensive and super simple. 3. Vegetable oils and margarine. Many vegetable oils are filled with trans fats, particularly the hydrogenated ones. Seeing that hydrogenation makes oil solid, these partly hydrogenated oils became incorporated in the production of margarine. Hence the market is full of margarine, packed with very high trans fats. Luckily, margarine that are free of these trans fats have become progressively available owing to the gradual phase out of these harmful oils. Margarine intake attained popularity as a result of the scarcity of butter in Second World War. Eleanor Roosevelt at one point promoted this as her best toast topping preference. But in reality, margarine is the recipe for surplus trans fats. To cut down on intake of those trans fats derived from plant oils and margarine. Stay away from products containing partly hydrogenated oils. Also, always opt for healthier oils, the likes of coconut oil or olive oil, extra virgin. 4. Coffee creamers, non-dairy. These creamers also called coffee whiteners. They are intended to substitute cream or milk in tea, coffee, and hot beverages. It might surprise you to know that the matriarch ingredients in these non-dairy creamers are oil and sugar. So many of these creamers were produced customarily using partly hydrogenated oil. This was done in a bit to improve their creaminess and shell life. Thankfully, many brands steadily have abridged trans fats content recently. Despite this, several creamers still comprise of partly hydrogenated oils. Even some creamers advertised as zero grams or free of these trans fats might contain little quantities of these harmful trans fats. In order to be on the safe side, totally avoid these. Choose substitutes like whole milk, or one-half and one-half cream if you are not dairy restricting. You can as well opt for non-dairy options, produced without partly hydrogenated oils. 5. Fast foods. Anytime you consider buying mobile foods, remember that these foods are reeking of trans fats. Although this is only true about some takeouts. Fried foods the likes of battered fish, french fries, fried noodles, hamburgers, fried chicken, and so on are undeniably tasty. But as tasty as they are, they all contain alarming levels of harmful trans fats and these come from so many sources. First, these foods are prepared in a lot of plant oils, which may contain some trans fats. This find a way to soak into the food. High cooking heat required during frying cause these trans fats contained in the oils to partially increase. This keeps increasing whenever same oil that is, the previously used oilies used over and again for frying. Since it is very difficult to totally curtail trans fats gotten from fried fast foods. It is better to altogether cut down the consumption of fried foods. Other sources of trans fat include some baked foods the likes of donuts, cakes, frozen pizza, cookies, biscuits, breakfast bars, tortillas and granola. Also, some crackers and snack mixes. Peanut butter often contains hydrogenated oils which manufacturers add to make it creamier and elongate its shelf life. Always go for the natural often chunky variety of peanut butter as this is made with only peanuts and salts, excluding oils packed with trans fats. Health implications of consuming trans fats. 1. Increases risk of heart diseases. 2. Cardiovascular diseases resulting from increase in LDL cholesterol and decrease in HDL cholesterol. 3. Inflammation of the blood vessels. 4. Plaguing of the blood vessel walls. Did you learn something new from today's video? If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. And hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. 
Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. And visit our site, www.zimweightloss.com for more awesome weight loss content like this.